This is a very fascinating little experiment, which I had a feeling it was going to do this, and it does, and I think it's doing what I think it's doing. Now I'm going to demonstrate this. Two coils, I'm going to take them apart, okay, so they can't induct each other. I have them repelling, repelling each other, okay, they buck, okay, a north and a north, or south and a south, one way. Well, they're flipping, so, but they're always repelling, okay. First thing we're going to do is hook up the H-bridge and start this with alternating DC. Okay, four and a quarter amps, okay. Now, when I put it on, watch the amp meter. Seven amps. Now I'll take them off. Take it off. Four and a quarter amps. Put it on. Six and a quarter. If I get it lined up perfect, it'll do seven. Seven amps. Take it apart so it can induct. Four and a quarter. And I'm going to burn out my H bridge. I'm going to unhook it. Just as I thought. Repelling creates negative resistance and allows more amps to flow. Okay? So that's what it does. So it's actually creating energy, I think. I think it's creating energy. But the obstacle is that we're using a battery to do it because whatever it creates it puts into the negative which puts it out of the positive so if we are making three amps like I think we are I think we're generating three amps like that the problem is you're sending it all into the negative which anything that goes into the negative has to come out of the positive I'll make a demonstration on that later so if there's a way to use that creation without a battery or a power supply I think it would do what we want